when you do not have the word of God, as they think how you judge situations, you, you suffer from the spirit of hopelessness. Psalm 69, verse, Psalm 69 from verse um, 19 to 21. Because I just rushed it. Psalm 69 from, 69 from verse um, what did I say? 19 to 29. The Bible says in 19, you know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart and I'm full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me a gall for my food. And for my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Listen to me. This Bible speaks about, says, you know my depression, whatever, and I'm full of heaviness. I look for someone. People were suffering from evil. They are looking for, for, for help from wrong sources. They're always looking for people. They will never go to God to be, to be helped by God. It means the number one, when, according to that scripture, God knows your reproaches. If you can go back to God, it's only one person who knows your, your reproaches. In negative, your sufferings. Reproaches. Two, reproaches break the heart and bring heaviness. Three, reproaches shift the focus from the source and makes you look to, for comfort from unreliable sources. Three, I mean four, reproaches will lead to poisonous relationships. You go for help to people instead of giving you some uh, sweet thing they give you in uh, young Peter the God. Because when they look for you see, the problem of our people and uh, we are always our eyes on people. That's the greatest problem that we have. Looking for the, from, from unreliable sources. So, poisonous relationships that are going to bring us down. But so it's high time in these days that we must make it a point that if you go to Facebook, go for right reasons. Shambuluk at Networks. Oh, what a powerful tool for young people to use. Unashamedly. With the mindset of shame broken and our hope renewed, we can cross over to our inheritance. Mindset with a mindset of shame broken and hope renewed in our life, we can cross over to our inheritance. First of all, we must first, first allow the Holy Spirit to expose lies that embedded, that uh, sorry, embed reproaches in, in us and root them out with promises of God. Any reproach that the enemy has embedded in your heart. Listen to me. There's absolutely nothing that you can do with something that the devil has without the word of God. The word of God is a weapon. What's on tonight? We are crossing over to our inheritance. This is the time of spiritual restoration and cleansing. Any negative thing, negative thoughts that you might have gone, that may settle it into your spirit, it is not going to do you a favor. You've got to deal with it, take it out a minute. Hallelujah. First of all, you must allow the Holy Spirit to expose lies. Amen. The lies of the enemy. The reproach of delayed prayers. You see, just a day before yesterday, there were couples that were introduced. I mean, I mean people, couples to be that were introduced here. I know. I've been saying it for many years. You create an unnecessary reproach. Shame upon your life in disgrace. You, young girls, just be, uh, in, we're preaching the word of God here. And it is true. And some have backslidden because of the same thing. You do not want to be a victim of the same thing. You don't have to raise hopes for yourself for yourself that somebody will marry me. Go to God. This is what we teach here. And I mean, honestly, if something that has sat into your spirit, because some of the things that happen through networks, when you converse through networks, hopes are raised. If there is are those things, 
Your life, um, your life is better. I mean, the eternity that God purchased through Jesus Christ is better than any other gift. We too used to say, some they think that man is better to have a man or to have a woman is better. No. What is better is the gift of salvation. In the Tubana, I have been to Kukuke Yulapitan. It would sing, it would sing on the You just get tired of the person next to you. I'm not trying to say a man is a bad man, bad person. I'm a blessing at home. Sometimes I know my wife would just think, oh, I got a little donor, a child, a landowner. Abe Funis in the bomb jam in the phone. When you get, when you have a conflict with your with your with your partner, sometimes I thought that is this the was this the right person? Did I make a, 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 a right choice? But that moment passes away. Then you say, oh, this is the right person. But you don't have to do that, Barcelona. Listen, go to God. Avoid unnecessary reproaches. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is still busy. You see what's on with delayed prayers. Don't ever be threatened when God, when God, God answers every prayer. And that I know. With me, he has answered every prayer that I place. Others say, no, wait, it's not the right time. No, yes, not the right time. Those things are important. That's your, that's your father. Reproach, self is the reproach of defeat. Reproach of defeat can set in on those who have entered into life's challenges only to come up feeling like losers. If, if you have, you know, tried this, tried this, and you, you found yourself to be a loser, a reproach can settle in your spirit. These are the things that we need to deal with. Nobody's a loser. Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Faith uh, always ever overcomes anxieties. Lack, the enemy knows poverty is a stifling source of humiliation to people. Enemy uses lack as an opportunity to drive us to hopeless, hopelessness. But material things can never be lift the embedded reproaches of lack. You see, there's another thing that we think that if I have this and that and that, there's this embedded whatever in a, of reproaches in my spirit will be lifted. Immaterial things can never lift the embedded in a, spirit of, 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 of reproaches in your heart. We will never do that. Only God and when you receive God in your spirit, then, then, then irreproaches can be lifted from your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to reclaim the promises. I'm just summarizing. Reclaim the promises of God. In Isaiah 61 verse 7, take the promises of God which the enemy stole from you back into your spirit. Hold them tight. Remove the shame from it and receive restoration. Now for sure, Bazana, I'm not going to, 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 to say the promise that I was not going to belong. I don't want to. just want to end there because I've got I had a lot to say there. But Bazana, the main thing is why here. Make sure that you deal with the reproaches. Only way to deal with the reproaches is to reclaim the promises of God in your life. Is to confess the things that you have received and ambitiously. Some of the things when I mean, these, those are not things that were in line with the word of God. Bible says in, a, in, in a, we're, here we're running a race in Hebrews chapter 12. Bible says therefore since we, we also, from verse 1, since we are surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, I'm not going to dwell on that, let us lay aside every weight. The only I said, this is, this, is, this is a scripture my wife, I mean, loves most. And the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with enduring race. With a journey, sorry, the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Who for the joy, 
the, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become worried and discouraged in your souls. You have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin. Anika trasi kute kube se kazi. Nesilo ane so. Asalan, I want to warn you. War is at hand. We live in Africa. There are wars between Christians and Muslims. If you think that is far from you, you may, you're joking. And the public have not yet resisted to bloodshed and to blood. But those people, when they experience it in their lives. When somebody speaks behind your back, you just say, I'm leaving this church. I mean, I don't, well, so and so does not like me. When I just I'm just going to say things that are nonsensical. Challenges that I know. You, they spoke about me. They spoke about how I'm wearing my shoe was like this. Then they slandered. I mean, me and whatever. Listen to me. There are better things than that. Forget about those people who are slandering. I mean, again, uh, slandering you. We are running the race as individuals. Was running, and the race that we're running, and we have to carry the word of God. We've got to make sure that we go to the desired destiny. Whether things allow or do not allow, everybody can come here and preach, but to be qualified to stand behind this pulpit, it takes time. Because the message that you're going to release is going to be tested upon your life. When you arrive here, and some people, they the diary is opened, waiting, an appointed time is, is there. God is waiting for them. But for some reason, known to them, they cannot make it to the end. As I learned, it doesn't matter whether we get injured on the way, but we've got to limp and make sure that. No more so but we are going there. And we have to sign. 